Hello, everyone. Welcome. I'm Nick. I'm Jackson. I'm talking about sports. And today we're going to be talking about the Buffalo Bills. Josh Allen, the struggles that we saw just last night against the New York Jets. You know, a huge loss for them, but a win in the capacity that Aaron Rodgers is not playing. And now they get a versus Zach Wilson, but still not to beat Zach Wilson and the Jets. Highly concerning, considering Aaron Rodgers had three or four snaps that entire game. So, Jackson, you know, you know I'm a huge fan of Josh Allen. He was the number one quarterback coming out of that year's draft class. Um, been rooting for the guy. He's definitely struggled the other day. What's your whole take on this Buffalo Bills team as a whole? Um, look, obviously, um, Josh Allen did struggle. Um, look, my whole thoughts on the Buffalo Bills team, I did think they were going to win the division going in. Obviously, I really don't think that right now. Um, Josh Allen just really needs to settle down with the hero ball. I just – watching the game last night, I just really just looked like Josh Allen was just trying to force – like, he was just trying to make things happen. And in, in result, Jordan Whitehead picked him off three times. Um, throwing three picks in a game is one thing. You let the same guy pick you off three times. That's just – that's something else. Um, look, the defense for Buffalo, I think, is solid. Um, just the offense, it, it, it concerns me to the fact that I think Josh Allen really only trusts one guy and it's Stefan Diggs. I think a couple years ago when Josh Allen kind of had the MVP run, you looked at who he trusted on that team and it was Stefan Diggs and it was Cole Beasley. This team does not have a Cole Beasley. And I think that's really, really rattling Josh Allen these last few years, late last year. And then now we're seeing it here. Um, I think he just needs to get another trusted guy, which I don't know how you're going to do that. It's week one. I'm, there's not a lot of guys you can just go out and sign. Um, I think you just got to settle down with the hero ball, and you got to trust your guys. Gabe Davis, I'd like to see him get more involved. And I also thought James Cook um, looked really good in his opportunities. He only had 3.8 yards per carry, but uh, James Cook looked good in the passing game as well. Um, so, overall, I'm a little concerned about the offense just based on, I think, Josh Allen would trust one guy. Yeah, I mean, look, here's the thing about this team. They have a good offensive line, in my opinion. You know, Spencer Brown was somebody I was a fan of coming out. Osiris Torrance was a guy I really loved coming out. Got him, too. Um, you know, they they got players like Gabe Davis, you know, who I, I, I really, you know, he, he's someone that's a big target and could be special. Digs, like you mentioned. Another guy I was a huge fan of coming out of college is Khalil Shakir, and I would love for them to use him. You know, my – and James Cook was a guy I was a hot, huge fan of, too, coming out of the draft. Defensively, Greg Rousseau, you know, uh, Matt Milano is a guy that's really good. Tredavious White, Jordan Poyer, Micah Hyde have been a staple of that defense for years now. The biggest concern I have about, that, you know, the Bills is, you know, and again, I want to mention again, Josh Allen was my number one quarterback coming out. And I think that he was probably the second best prospect I've seen coming out. And people are going to say, oh, how can you say Lawrence? But I like Lawrence, but Lawrence is probably my third, to be honest with you. My my favorite ever was probably Herbert and then Allen. You know, honestly. Like, Allen had some – I saw inconsistencies in Allen's game. You know, he may have more potential in the sense of arm talent, like big arm, run people over, you know, special like that. But, man, like, you know, Herbert was very solid. But the biggest thing is about, you know, Allen is this. He looked really good under Brian Dayball, and Ken Dorsey is coming last year. And a lot of the stuff that they cleaned up with Josh Allen with Brian Dayball limiting turnovers and stuff when he was looking really good has kind of started to unravel under Ken Dorsey. You know, you're starting to see the turnovers come into effect again, like you saw his rookie year and stuff like that. And that's stuff you don't want to see. So coordinators are huge. Look at what Kyle Shanahan did with Matt uh with Matt Ryan. You know, look at what Josh McDaniels did with, you know, uh Mac Jones. You know, look at what some of these coordinators can do in the National Football League when they can, you know, condense the offense, make it fit a scheme that they do. Look at Brock Purdy and Kyle Shanahan's offense, another guy, okay? Not that they're known for turnovers, but just letting their quarterback play really good within the system. And I haven't seen this with Ken Dorsey, plain and simple. So, you know, something to be concerned about with Buffalo, for sure. And like you mentioned this, too, they don't have weapons. Dawson Knox, I mean, you know, tight end, they signed last year, okay. Well, then you bring in Dalton Kincaid to maybe play in the slot and this and the other thing. Okay, a little bit questionable. I like Kincaid a lot coming out of college, but do they really need that pick? I don't know. You know, could be an extra weapon. I'm not disagreeing. Might have been the best guy on the board talent-wise, right, if you compare it to the other receivers, maybe. But, man, do they need another receiver. 
and another guy that maybe can work underneath. Like you mentioned, Cole Beasley was an underneath guy. Maybe they need someone that can get open underneath. They got a scheme, James Cook more in the pass game, underneath. They used Hardy a lot yesterday. Do it with James Cook. He had a lot of receptions there in college. I think he can do it again for Josh Allen and be a huge weapon if they can get Josh Allen to check down the ball. You know, a lot of people bashed Derek Carr a few years ago. I'm a Raiders fan for checking down the ball. Man, he was getting four or five yards every single play with Jalen Rashard in the check down. Check down, check down, four or five yards. I'll take four or five yards every single play. What you can't do is have an incomplete pass and make a second and 10. Check it down, down, pick up three, four easy yards and move on. And another thing with Allen, got to stop taking those stupid hits. It's going to add up and he's going to get hurt. Stop doing it. It's stupid. As much as you want to fire up your team, it's dumb. Knock it off. Just slide, get down, live another down, or throw it to your check down. Let them take the hit a little bit. Uh, what else do you think about this team? I mean, again, division now is going to be tough. Miami looking really good. You lose against the Jets. I mean, I'm not saying that they can't be the next time they play them. And the Patriots are no joke. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to continue to say it. I don't think the Patriots are a joke. So, looking at this division, I mean, where do you think the Bills finish right now? Look, I think right now, if um, I would say the Bills probably finish between second and third place, maybe flipping with the Patriots, maybe between a game. Um, but they, there's a lot of work to be done, obviously. Um, Khalil Shakir, like you said, is a guy I'd like to see step into maybe that Cole Beasley role from a couple years ago. And then you got Gabe Davis to just be your certified deep threat. And then Stefan Diggs. Can do everything. Can, can, yeah, you can do everything. He's your plea receiver. So, but right now, that's not what it's looking like. They have really one guy. And like the Kincaid pick at the time, I thought was questionable. And I still think is questionable because I didn't really see much from him last night. And they got to, you know, you're going to draft a tight end to be, you know, just an H back in your offense, you gotta, you gotta use them because that's a first round pick. That's really valuable. Yeah. Um, but do I think the bills win the division right now? I don't think they do. I think they don't even finish second right now with how things are going. I don't like how the Patriots looked the other day more than I like the bills last night against an Aaron Rodgers jets. But um, those are my thoughts. Yeah, I, I 100% agree. I mean, look, I'm not going to push a panic button yet. I mean, I would have had this team as a number one team in that division just on Sunday. Mm-hmm. They are falling down. I mean, power rankings, I think the Dolphins moving up. I have the Dolphins moving up from like last or, you know, third, probably third in that division all the way to one. I have the Jets falling from number two all the way down to fourth. And I have the Bills falling down a spot. And I'm telling you, one more bad week by the Bills and a win by the Patriots or something could flip those two and put the Patriots in number two. Because I've been saying it all along, I really do believe in this Patriots team with Bill O'Brien and Bill Belichick. And I always like Matt Jones, too. I mean, he's not better than Josh Allen. But, man, I mean, he, he's a good quarterback in the National Football League. And here's another question. Final thing I got to ask. Why, Eddie? Why, Eddie, Why, Eddie? point do you pull the plug on I love Sean McDermott but at what point do you pull the plug I mean this team made the playoff again and it had the first round exit or something like that how much longer are you gonna go with him having Josh Allen and having this team and not going to the promised land look man if you know if they if they don't make the playoffs this year you would pull the plug on Sean McDermott in my opinion I would pull the plug maybe on a, you know if they had an embarrassing first round exit I would pull the plug but I would say you know realistically you know McDermott probably has this year and then maybe next if they don't do anything this year he's probably on the hot seat next year but you know when you got a guy like Josh Allen you you almost want to get a guy you no know, more offensive minded guy in there so maybe it's time you know pull the plug and switch things up I I at this point I think that you got to at least conference championship I oh, mean yeah. I, even if it's a tough you got to get and it sucks to fire a coach that brings you to the playoffs every year. But at some point, you say, this team's too talented to keep getting to the playoffs and not going further. And you saw that with, you know, a lot of teams. And another team I'm going to say that to right now, just talking about another team down the river, you know, no, far, far away, far, far away. But another team close to them talent-wise, like the Chargers and Brandon Staley, which we'll talk about at another time. But 
So the Chargers and Brandon Staley is another team that has way too much talent that hasn't gone anywhere. And at some point you get the playoffs. Is it, Brandon Staley is not even really making the playoffs, you know, consistently. So I know McDermott's making the playoffs, but you got to see the extra step. Staley, at this point, I would have fired him like two, three years ago, to be honest with Like how much more, I mean, it's Herbert and a phenomenal Eckler and Mike Williams and Keenan Allen and, and you got a one of the highest paid defenses, and you're supposed to be a defensive like a guy, and you let up 500 something yards to the Dolphins. Are you kidding me? So the Buffalo Bills last night, and again, a Buffalo Bills team that is primarily a defensive team with Sean McDermott and everything, and you know they got Josh Allen, Kevin Dorsey doing that on offense, and you can't beat the Zach Wilson and the Jets after the biggest night, and the Jets fans are pumped up to see Rodgers. He gets hurt on the first drive, and you can't beat that team. You can't make a stop. I mean, I, I, I'm. You're eventually going to let up a touchdown. I mean, the offense needs to come through, but just horrible. And at some point, you got to point fingers at the coach. At some point, you do. And I do. I blame me. I'm the first person to defend the quarterback and to defend the coach. I really am. I mean, for the love of God, I was defending uh, uh, Adam Gase for a long time. I was defending Joe Judge for a long time. I will defend you, but at some point, you got to point a finger at these coaches, and eventually, it's going to fall back on Sean McDermott. Is there anything else that you want to talk about? Well, I, you know, obviously at this team is talent. They got they got talent all over the place. Um, they just got to put it together. And then, like you said, you know, maybe it is time to start pointing the fingers at the coaching staff. Yeah, and it's unfortunate to say it, but honestly, at some point you got to see improvement. And whether that's, you know, divisional round, divisional round, divisional round to conference or divisional round to Super Bowl, but it sucks that, McDermott's floor right now seems like he gets to the playoffs, which is a very good floor. But the team around him is enough to probably get them to a championship. And you see Stefan Diggs, how upset he gets that he really wants to have a chance, and they're just not getting there. So, man, at some point, the whole locker room is going to want to explode if they just can't get there. And how many more years are these guys going to be able to do it? I don't know. I mean, Diggs is getting up there, and Allen, I mean, Allen's still young, but you don't want to waste this dude's prime, you know? So... It is what it is. But is there anything else that you have? Um, I got nothing, you know. This team, they are going to get Vaughn Miller back at some point. Um, the latest report was, you know, they might be soon or uh, later than week five or what it was. He was on the PUP list, so he'd be able to come back week five. But they're saying it might be later than that now, which is a little worrisome for the Bills. But that's all I got. Yeah, no, that's all. So, again, we're going to have a lot more Bills content on the channel. So just stay tuned. Leave a like, subscribe. But we made this one a little bit shorter. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, be sure to comment in the comment section below. We'll see you guys soon. Peace. We are. Bill better. Yes, we're peace.